And this is very disturbing to me because although I, I had known for a long time that she was arthritic, I, I didn't know how painful it really was until she came and lived with me and I experienced with her what it was like mm -hmm. to live life. And this is very disturbing. And so she says, well, you know, the doctor says I'm going to be on his medication for the rest of my life. And I said, that can't be right. There's got to be something that we can do. So we went and we searched and we found a, a pushing off the couch without pain. She couldn't hold a cup without it being super painful. <laughs> there, is a, there is a cure for arthritis. Okay. So she followed the plan. She followed a modified version of that plan. And she detoxed for a year. And probably in about 10 months, she had no more pain left on her hands. 10 months. And all she did was change her nutrition. And I want you to think about, as we go along in the seminar, what is your healing story going to be? When you embark on a journey to health, what do you want your healing story to be? What are you suffering from now? What is, what, what is it that's brought you here? What has put you on your threshold that you are ready to say, no more, I'm not, I'm not taking it? And I want to encourage you to think about that as we go through the seminar. Um, so why is it important to detox? And how do we know we're toxic? These are important questions. Well, it's important to detox because we are bombarded with toxins every day in every way that you can possibly imagine. And there are several ways. The environment is toxic. Our our, in, our inward environment, mentally, spiritually, and physically, can get toxic through food, the air, our thoughts, um, the media that we're bombarded with. Everything that we ingest, in some ways, has a level of toxicity. Even our own bodies create its own toxicity. So it's important to release to release the toxins, and we're going to show you how to do that today. Mm -hmm. um, I want to explain just a few things about the seminar. First of all, it's very important that you know that the restroom is right behind you through that, through that doorway <laughs> and to the right. Um, we, we will have hands-on stations where we would love for you to come and learn more about superfoods and ways to detox the body. Um, we also have food for sale um, that is 100% raw vegan, and uh, we've got somebody else coming with some raw vegan ice cream and um, veggie spread, which is so yummy. Yes, it's really. Um, if you are interested in surrounding yourself with people that are going to support you and understand what you are going to learn here today, we encourage you to set up a time to have a home seminar. We are more than happy to come and chat with your family and um, explain to them what it is that you learn today. We've, we've noticed in our personal experience that a detox goes so much better when you have support at home. Um, so <coughs> one other thing that I want to explain, Sue has kindly volunteered to go through a detox yeah. today. And this is called an ion foot detox. What's happening is the salt water and the ions coming from the element are basically pulling toxins out of her body. So if you were to be able, if you saw the water when she started, it was completely clean. And right now, it's just a little bit yellowish. And so in about a half an hour, we'll check and see how the water goes. But this is one, this is one way to detox, OK? Um, OK, so we're just going to jump right in. And we're going to let Dr. Masu talk about the source of life. All right. Uh, first of all, welcome everybody. Uh, thank you. I know Saturday is a hard day to come to listen to the seminar, but I'm hoping today I change your life. Come on. And changing your life is not necessarily knowledge, because guess what? Me and my wife, we had the knowledge that I'm about to share with you five years ago. And guess what? Five years ago, the knowledge didn't change our life. 
he took us going literally a head rock bottom until we decided to change. Mm -hmm. So one thing I want to emphasize on you guys, if you think you're going to learn something and then go out there and change your life, it ain't going to happen. Because, you know, how many smokers you know that they know smoking is bad for them? Mm -hmm. Yet they smoke. Mm -hmm. So, but what does change your life is making a decision mm -hmm. and focusing on what you want to change. <coughs> Most of us are, we want to run from something. I, I don't want to get sick. I don't want to do this. I don't want to, guess what you <laughs> happen when you don't want to think of something? You're going to think of that and you're going to do what exactly what you don't want to do. So in, instead I want you to be, I want to encourage you to have a goal. Something that it pulls you toward instead of running away. So imagine all of you, what is the optimum health you would like to achieve? And don't be like uh, uh, skeptical that that's not possible with me, you know. Uh, it, it, let your imagination go wild because it is possible. Your body is designed to be as healthy and live and be longevity. The only our behavior corrupts it. Um, before we go further, we just want to know that the stuff I'm going to talk to today is a little bit alter. It's not like the stuff you usually hear. Is <coughs> it's kind of like out of the norm. I want I would like you to have have an open minded, and you know a little bit bit like a kid, and come out of your box. Uh, the stuff I'm going to ask you to do. You know, out there you can be like the culture that demands you to be quiet, don't do stuff, and be under the radar. But today I'm going to ask you to be like a kid. You know, like a kid when they walk, and for no reason they go, oh, bloop! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or they go, like, they, they sit and watch something, and all of a sudden they make those strange noises. They're happy with no reason. They're just happy. <laughs> so, I'm going to do a couple of those stuff during the seminar just to just to see what is possible out there, okay? All right, let's dive into it. What is health? What is why we need to be healthy? You gotta understand everything in our in our body has two reasons to be healthy. Stay away from toxicity and have all the nutrients that we need. In other words, for purpose of this seminar, don't be diabetic, don't be arthritic, don't be cancer patient, don't be like infection patient. There's only two conditions you need to worry about. Deficiency and toxicity, okay? And let's see what is the source of all that. Uh, I need a volunteer to read for me. And go page three of your handout. Who's gonna be volunteer? Go ahead. Would you read Leviticus 17, 11? This is from Bible, Old Testament. Uh, I'm sorry, do you have this one? Page 3. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I missed one. Page 3. Yeah, I have that. Okay, go ahead. Would you read it? Okay, it says, uh, the source of life, blood. Blood is a specialized bodily fluid that delivers necessary substances to the body cells such as nutrients and oxygen, and transports waste products away from those same cells. Clean blood equals healthy body. Toxic blood equals sick body. Leviticus 17.11 For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. So how is it that 5,000 years ago we knew that the blood is source of life? And there's the blood that, but yet we keep corrupting our blood. Now, upon that token, I want to start the seminar by showing.